Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Christmas came early. I checked my mail yesterday and BoxyCharm had sent me the entire May skincare box. So we're going to be doing a full unboxing and a review on everything in this box. I know I do like to tell you guys that with skincare it does take like 28 to 60 days to really know if it's going to work. However, I am very fortunate that I have used 90% of the products in this box, so I will be giving you an in-depth review on the products I've used and my recommendations based on the other ones. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching, and please don't forget to subscribe because I do upload three times a week, and that is the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. Also, as always, there's going to be a giveaway in this video. I have an entire collection of like overflow extras that I have, so I'll be putting together a little gift basket of sorts and I'll have a mystery prize. So if you are interested in entering the giveaway, all you need to do is like this video, comment down below, and make sure you are subscribed to my channel, and you will be entered to win the mystery prize. So without further ado, let's jump right into the skincare box. So I did want to mention that I will not be opening any of the products here because like in some cases, like the Glam Glow Super Serum, I already have it, I'm currently using it. Or I have something I'm currently using as well. Skincare does have a shelf life. So rather than opening the products now and starting that timer, I'm gonna continue to use the skincare I have been using and this stuff will go into the rotation for another day. So first out of the box is the theme card, which is the Boxy Limited Skincare, Unlimited Glow, Limited Quantities. So the first item out of the box, this is the Rub-A-Dub Refining Peel Gel from Saturday Skin. Retails for $28. Gently and visibly remove impurities and dullness from your skin with your new Saturday Skin Rub-A-Dub Peel Gel. Uh, papaya and pineapple extracts. This peel gel promotes an even skin tone, boosts elasticity, and super peptide complex. So this I have used before. This is an excellent chemical exfoliator. So it's very similar to the Bosha Peel Gel where it's a gel that goes on and as you massage it in, it's literally going to melt the dead skin off. This is one of the few exfoliators that I would say is also suitable for dry skin. So I do like this personally, but I have noticed that for people with a little more dry skin, this is going to be a beautiful exfoliator. So next out of the box is the Elemis Superfood Night Cream. Wake up with glowing, healthy looking skin every single day thanks to the newest member of your nighttime skincare routine. The Elemis Superfood Night Cream is packed with superfood lipids, chia, black seed, rice bran, and flaxseed oils to work all night long to keep your complexion hydrated. So now this is one of the only items in the box I have no experience with. However, I have used Elemis products in the past. They are more of a luxury brand. They are very enjoyable, and I really love the marine cream that we got. Boxy Lux, I think September? I think we got it in September. It's been a minute. But all of the products I have used from Elemis have been very good, so I'm eager to try this out. I'm currently using a night serum from Murad, so I'm going to finish that one up first. Then I'll give this one a try, and it retails for $45. Next, the product you know I already love. This is the Glam Glow Super Serum. Retails for $65. The new Glam Glow Super Serum works instantly to clarify pores and plump fine lines. Powered by activated charcoal, it refines pores with the Super 6 Acid Blend, which is a complex of AHAs, BHAs, and PHAs. So... Again, I have been using this on and off. I did use this this morning as well. This does help to exfoliate the skin lightly, plump fine lines, tone your pores. Basically, it's meant to do everything all in one. They also have the toner and the super mud. I have used the entire line, and there is really, like, nothing I find that this stuff doesn't do. Definitely worth trying out and definitely like a superstar product from the box for me. So the next item out of the box are the first dud for me just because I don't personally love it. It is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Sheet Masks. We get two. The retail $8 a piece. So the retail for them together is going to be $16. Hydrate, brighten, and soften your skin with a sheet mask literally like no other. The Glow Recipe Watermelon Sheet Mask gets the jelliness and amino acid goodness from a blend of watermelon extract. Now, I've used this mask in the past, and I don't entirely love it. It's a little more glowy than I care for. I have been playing around with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Mist lately, which I have been enjoying, but again, a lot of dew, a lot of glow. I'm very oily, so for me, I have to be a little more careful with what glow products I'm using, and these ones do a little more than I would like. But if you have dry skin, I think this is going to be a really good mask for you. It is really fun to use. It's loaded in the serum, and it does remind me very similarly to the finish of the mist. 
So if that's something you like, you are going to love the other. The other dud out of the box. I do not like this product. I have never been shy about saying that. This is the Farsali Jelly Beam Highlighter. Retails for $40. Uh, you def you're definitely ready for this jelly. Your new Farsali Jelly Beam Highlighter applies as a gel and sets as a powder, always delivering a high shine finish. Concentrated pigment is really versatile in letting you customize your glow. I do not like cream highlighters. I definitely don't like jelly highlighters. I prefer a straight up powder. It says it's a cream to powder or a jelly to powder, but I do find that beautiful on a no makeup day, but it will bunch your foundation, it will move your foundation, and it will cause things to separate on the cheeks if you aren't careful. So I'm gonna pass on that. Next out of the box, this is the Kopari Coconut Cleansing Oil. Time to break up with clogged pores. Your new Kopari Cleansing Oil gently kicks out the makeup impurities and environmental toxins that are living in your skin without stripping it of its natural moisture. The restorative antioxidants brighten your complexion, leaving behind an even skin tone and a very soft surface. So I have used this as well. It definitely does everything it claims to do. However, it contains coconut oil, which is an ingredient that I try to avoid in my skincare. For me personally, I find that coconut oil does cause me to break out. So it is a good product if you don't have a sensitivity to coconut. If you do like me, not gonna work for you, but I will pass that on to somebody who I think will love it and that will be much better for them. Again, not a bad product just for my skin and what my skin likes. It doesn't exactly work for me, but that doesn't make it a bad product and it retails for $32. Next, this is from Cosmetics. This is a jade roller. I am gonna put this right back in the bag and not use it just because I already have a roller and I love the one I have because pink is my color uh, as I wear green and my nails. Anyway, um, pink is my color. I already have one and I don't need two so I will be passing that along as well. Retails for $32. Uh, the tool, you skincare routine has been missing. The Jade Crystal Facial Roller takes your skincare products through another level. By helping boost circulation and pushing your skin to absorb the products better, you'll see a visible change in your skin's glow, dark circles, and fine lines and wrinkles. I agree a thousand percent. I will cleanse my skin. I will tone my skin. I will take this and I will just gently use this to de-puff the face. I will take the under eye side to de-puff the under eye. I will apply my serums. And then I will go right back in and use this to massage my serums into my skin. It is cool. It is cold. The crystal or marble, whatever it is, stays very chilled. So it does help to, again, de-puff. And then they start a car outside. Rude. Uh, the jade does help to de-puff and really just soothe the skin and allow everything to sink in a little bit better. And the last item out of the box, retailing for $10, this is the Caudalie Grape Water, another product I have used. Extracted from French grapes, the new Caudalie Organic Grape Water helps increase hydration and reduce redness for safe, for sensitive skin. The fragrance and preservative-free mist can be used as a toner to give your skin soothing, moisturizing love. This is an amazing product for really calming the skin. It stays cold, so if you're going out on a hot day, this is something you can use to just kind of boost your skin. I don't love it on top of makeup, however, if you're not wearing any or it's just a light beach day, this is something you can use to just kind of bring your skin back to life, especially if salt is getting everywhere with like ocean water. This will help to rehydrate. Um, the one thing I will say about Caudalie as a whole, which I think is really cool, the brand itself it comes out of Bordeaux, France, dealing with winemaking. So a lot of the grape inspired is because in winemaking, there is so much byproduct of probiotics, um, nutrient dense like grape seeds and extracts and mush that they're not using in the wine. That's what inspired the skincare line because it's entirely nutrient dense grapes. So you're getting some great nutrient punk, some great antioxidants, really good for the skin, all skin types. So all in all, this box retails for $268. To purchase this box, it only cost $49.99. Now this is variation one. So I know there was a second variation where you could get, instead of the Caudalie, some Carez wipes, which also would have been a great option. I do love Carez, especially for deep hydration. But the fact that this box retails for $49.99, but the value is over $250, even if all you like is the serum, you've already paid for the value of the box. I say that about BoxyCharm in every video I do. 
I'm not saying that you're gonna love every product. I'm not saying that every single box is perfect. But what I am saying is I can guarantee that out of pretty much every box I've ever had, I can at least pay the value of the box in the products I love. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to enter the giveaway, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!